Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the Classic Licks lesson for the months of April through June 2018. Every time I think I've heard every blues guitar player there is, I hear somebody else that I've never heard of. And this time around I'm going to feature some licks from a guy named Lafayette Thomas, who until recently I had never heard of. And I was watching a video on YouTube and it's called Great Jump and Swing Guitar Players. And it goes through a whole like a medley of clips from these from these guys playing, and one of them is this Lafayette Thomas. So I looked him up, read about him, and then started finding his songs on YouTube. Apparently, he played with the Jimmy McCracklin band in the 1950s, and then also recorded some of his own stuff, instrumentals and vocal tunes. So what I decided to do is go through and listen to as much of his individual work as I could, and I pulled out 10 or 12 neat ideas, neat licks that that I've figured out how to play. So let's start. First one, first few actually come from a tune called Cockroach Run, which is almost the same as another, another instrumental tune he did called Deep South Blues. There's a basic lick that runs through it, and I'll show you that first, and then I'll show you some of these, these other licks from those tunes. It's in the key of F, as far as what I can hear on the recording, and I think what he did is either put a capo on the first fret so he could play out of the E position, or he just tuned his guitar a little differently. So down a step. Anyway, let me show you the basic lick for Cockroach Run, and then I'll show you the licks, some of the licks that he would play over this type of type of groove. Here we go. <laughs> Cockroach run lick, the way I think it's played. I hear an open sixth string as he leads into it, and then to the F or the third fret of the fourth string, and then a hammer on on the first fret, second fret of the third string, rather, getting a little bit of the open second string in there too. So we got this, and then back to that open sixth string. And then to a flattened out second finger, whatever he uses here on the third fret, second and third strings. And then back to this lick, to the third fret of the fourth string, before kicking into it again. So let me play the whole thing again slowly. That's the lick. Now over that, he plays the licks that we're going to work on here. So this is a kind of some more examples of things you can play out of an E position. So it's really an F since I have the capo there. One thing he does in between those, those little riffs is he does something like this. And what I'm doing here is just getting the open second string to the third fret of the second string, hammer on, open first string, and then sliding to the 6th fret of the 2nd string. And he does something like that. You can also double up the strings on that lick, getting both the 2nd string and the open 1st string, which is kind of neat. I'm going to tune this up a little louder so we get the full effect. So that's one variation on, on these licks. Now, as he's going through this, and he's throwing in this, He's got another one he does, kind of like this. Which is really neat. He's doing that hammer on with the open first string and then coming here to that bend, the double stop bend. This would be the second position F bar chord. And I've got my first finger on the eighth fret of the first string and my second finger is bending up on the second, ninth fret of the second string. It's a typical country blues, electric blues type of lick, but he's combining this, this lead-in phrase, kind of like that. Sometimes he'll mix up the two, and he does this in both Deep South Blues and with this cockroach run. He'll go. And then a third variation on that, he does, he goes, does something like this. And what I'm doing there is getting my, using my second finger and sliding to the fifth fret of the third string, 
but I'm getting the open second and the open first in there too. So that same lead in lick. You can contrast the two, play them, play them back to back. So those are three different variations in those slow, kind of slow shuffles in the key of F that he does, Cockroach Run and Deep South Blues. And they all start out with that little lead in, and he's going there, there, or there. Listen to those tunes, and I think you'll see what I'm talking about. Another thing he does in those tunes is he does these, these E position double stop slides. Like, if you're playing an E, something like this, it's pretty common. And when he's doing this cockroach run lick, he'll do something like this. And what I'm doing here is leading into it, third fret of the fourth string, open third string, to the third fret of the third string, and then sliding to the fifth fret of the third string with my second finger and then getting the fourth fret of the second string with my first finger. And then sliding back down from the fifth to the third. Typical country blues type thing. He also does a variation where he does this. Something like that. And I could also be using an open string, but I think he's going and coming down on the 6th fret of the 2nd string. Because sometimes I hear him slide back down like that. So he does something like this. Other times he'll slide back down on the 3rd string like he did before. And he does some variations off of that lick as well. But those are some cool ideas out of that first E position. So the first few licks we have there are from two Lafayette Thomas instrumentals in the key of F, and they're called Cockroach Run and Deep South Blues. Our next Lafayette Thomas lick comes from an instrumental in the key of C. It's called Lafayette's A-Comin'. And he's playing this lick. He's in the key of C, and for most of the song, he's playing some licks over the first position C blues box. But here he's going to play over the... D shape, C. So here's my C, first position bar chord. Here's my D shaped C. And the lick goes like this. And he plays this over the one for, I think it's the second solo verse, second solo verse of the song. There we go, something like that. And what I'm doing here is I'm starting on the 12th fret of the third string going to the 14th fret, and then I'm going to rake over this A minor position. First finger on the 12th fret of the first string, second finger, 13th fret, second string, third finger, 14th fret, third string. So it's one, two, rake all three strings. And then he's going to go to the 15th fret of the first string. I think he gets it twice. Something like that. Listen to the original recording. I'll have it tabbed out for you. Then the second time he does it, he goes like this. Where he goes back to the 12th fret of the first string. So the whole thing, one time. Then he repeats it three times. Before sliding to the 20th fret of the first string. 18th fret of the first string. 20th fret of the second string. So, sounds like that. So let me play the whole thing for you one time slowly. Whoops, missed that last slide. It's kind of tough when you get way up there on the, on the neck. Really cool idea. And what he's doing is really playing over this D-shaped chord. But your fingers are going to be in an A minor position. That's how I remember how to play it. This is also a, a six chord, a C6. So if you can remember it that way too. So a C6. And you get
get that really cool lick, which he plays over, over the one. Our next Lafayette Thomas lick also comes from the instrumental Lafayette's a coming in the key of C. And this time around, he does this really neat phrase, lick, series of licks over the long C position. Let me play it for you one time, and then we'll, we'll figure out what he's doing. Really neat. And what I'm doing here, here's my C, and I'm going, really, there's my long C chord, or my, the root of a, what's a second position bar chord. I'm just taking the top of that. And I'm, and I'm keeping my finger on the 5th fret of the 4th string. And I'm going from the 5th fret of the 4th string to the 7th fret, to the 5th fret of the 3rd string, and then I'm going to do this climbing bend, ascending bend, on the 3rd string, 7th fret. So let me do that slowly one time for you. And the trick to that is I'm picking as I'm bending up. And then I let that last one hang. And then he does this. Playing from the 8th fret to the 6th fret on the 2nd string. Then another bend on the 7th fret of the 3rd string. So the whole lick so far. Like that. Then the next time around, he starts out with that same lick. Really neat bend. He's bending three-fingered bend on the seventh fret of the second string. It's got like a kind of a dissonant off sound, out of phase sound. Then he comes down again on the sixth fret of the second string. So it's like this. And then he goes to the 5th fret of the 3rd string, to the 8th fret, to the 7th fret of the 4th string. So he's got this lick. All of that is over that position, that long C chord. So here we go. Let me play the whole thing for you one more time. I just think this is a really cool way to, to make up a solo. It's very melodic, kind of fun and bouncy. the song goes over the four and he continues playing but that little sequence where he leaves the first position blues box and goes into that I really like that it's kind of a cool idea so those last two licks are both from the instrumental called Lafayette's a coming in the key of C our next Lafayette Thomas lick comes from maybe his most famous instrumental it's called the thing in fact Lafayette's nickname was the thing Either he was a big fan of the science fiction movie from the 50s with the same name, or maybe he was just named after his most successful instrumental. I do not know. But he kicks off that instrumental with a really cool lick. It's in the key of G, and he starts it out like this. Which is really like a B.B. King type thing, just sped up, played faster. So if you've never heard this kind of lick before, what I'm doing is starting on the third fret of the third string, and I'm just really playing over that first position G bar chord. Third fret of the third string, hammer on the fourth fret, three five on the second string, and I get to the third fret of the first string, which is our G. Whoops. Then I'm gonna slide from about the sixth to the eighth fret on the second string and really let it hang put some vibrato in there and let the loudness and the tone of the guitar take over and there i'm going to pop up to the sixth fret bend up on the sixth fret of the first string doing a one-fingered bend there so one more time kind of a cool idea if you're playing a faster tune Normally you hear a lick like that in a slow blues, like B.B. King would do something like this. Or Freddie King to kick off a tune, but you can play it fast too. And that's
that's from Lafayette Thomas's instrumental tune called The Thing.